Today I'm gonna show you how you can create the stylized water shader. It works for EV, it works for cycles, and it's just a couple of notes and a couple of minutes of your time. And all you need is your computer and blender. So let's go. Now this material that I'm gonna show you how to make is just one of my 125 material pack for blender that is currently available as add-on and is for 50% of discount. It's the first link in the description, but now let's make this stylized water shader. So let's start by creating a new material and let's give it a name. Now let's add a Voronoi texture, set it to 4D and change the type to distance to edge. And because now we have a perfect Voronoi texture where the segments are completely straight, we need to distort the texture first. And we can do this by adding a texture coordinate, by adding a mapping node, then take this vector and plug it to the linear light operation. Now let's add a noise texture and let's plug the color of the noise texture to the B socket of the linear light operation. And now if you plug the result to the vector, you can see that now we can use this factor to control the distortion of the waves. We can actually scale the mapping a little bit down and make sure to set the factor to something low like 0.1. Now let's make some space because we will add a math node. Let's set the operation to greater than and let's plug it after the Voronoi texture. And if I bring down the threshold, you can see that now we have this constant fall off between white and black which is exactly what we want. And if you feel that you are distorting the water a little bit too much, you can either try to change the scale of the noise texture, or you can play with the linear light operation. Now, as we basically have the first layer of the water shader, we can add another mix color node. So let's add mix color, and let's plug the value from the math node to the factor. And here, with these two color inputs, you can change the color of the water. Now, let's take these three nodes. Let's duplicate them and make sure that they are connected to the noise as well. You can see that we have white waves on the first texture, which means that we can use different colors for the second texture. So I'm going to make the waves blue and I'm going to make them a little bit darker. So now we have these two variations. However, the problem is when I mix these two notes, you can see that the waves are overlaying each other. So what you can do is that you can add a math node, you can change the operation to multiply, plug the value into the W slider and change the value to something like 200. Now we can see that the both layers are a little bit different and the reason for this note is that this will randomly distribute the second Voronoi texture which means that now the textures are not overlaying each other anymore and to mix both textures correctly we will take the greater than value from the first note and we will plug it to the factor. Now what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna take the scale of the noise texture and I'm gonna set the scale to like 12. And I'm gonna also scale down the textures just a little bit. Now if you add a value node and you will plug the value to the W slider of the first texture and to the math node of the second texture, you can now animate the whole thing. So now we have the base of the material, but we are not done yet because we want to add the white color on the edges. So let's add layer weight node and we will need the Fresnel output. So let's take the output and let's plug it to the color ramp and let's bring the black slider a little bit towards the white and let's duplicate one of the linear light operations. So I'm going to duplicate the node. Let's connect the color to the second socket and let's take the factor of the noise texture and let's plug it to the socket A. And now if I preview the linear light and I bring the factor all the way up, you can see that we have this white outline on the edges with the variation from the noise. Let's duplicate the greater than node and let's add it after the linear light operation. And to combine this outline with the actual shader, we will use another mix node. And now we will take the value from the greater than node and we will plug it to the factor. And the reason why we don't see the outline is because the outline is using this blue color. So we can take the white and we can drag it and we can drop it to the B socket. Which means that now we have this cool water shader with this random outline. Which means that now from whatever view you are looking at the shader, it will always have the outline on the edges. Now what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna duplicate this value node and I'm gonna plug it to the threshold since I want to control the thickness of the waves just from the one node. And now we are basically done. Now we can leave the shader like this. However, there is one particular layer which can make this shader even more interesting. And what I mean by that is that we can add tiny ripples on the edges of the water. So let's do that by adding a wave texture. And if I preview the texture, the only thing that I want from this texture is that I want the center of the texture to be locked to the camera view whenever I'm orbiting around the object. And luckily for us, we have this camera output from the texture coordinate node. And if we plug this to the vector input of the texture, you can see that the waves are locked in with the camera view. 
but we want the waves to start from the middle, so we will change the direction to Z. And now if I play with the face offset, you can see that waves are coming basically towards or from the center, which is exactly what we want. Now let's increase the distortion, let's bring the detail down. Now again, let's copy the linear light and let's plug the color from the wave texture to the A socket. We will take the Fresnel output from the layer weight node and we will connect it to the B socket. And again, let's duplicate the greater than the node. Let's plug it to the result and make sure to increase the threshold. You can also scale down the wave texture. You can increase the distortion just a little bit. And if you increase the face offset, you can see that now we have ripples coming from the edges of the shader. And finally, to connect the waves to the rest of the shader, we will duplicate the mix color node and we will plug the result to the A socket. Let's plug the greater than value. And now if I preview the node, you can see that now we have water with waves and the ripples. And if you are wondering how we can easily animate the texture, first of all, let's switch the noise texture to 4D. Let's plug this value node to the W slider as well. And let's also plug it to the face offset of the wave texture. Now we have one input that can animate the whole material. But as you can see the movement of the waves is much more faster than the movement of the ripples. So let's duplicate this greater than node. Let's plug it before the face offset. And let's multiply the number to something like 100. Now let's try to animate it again. And as you can see the movement is much more even. And now instead of this principal BSDF shader, we will use a tune BSDF which was made specially for stylized shaders. So let's connect the result to the color and let's connect the BSDF to the surface of the material output. Now we can crank up the smoothness and let's set the size to 1 as well. These settings, at least for me, made the perfect results. And that is basically all. This shader works for EV, for cycles, you can customize the color, you can customize the wave thickness, the scale of the noise texture that is distorting the waves, the scale of the ripples, the scale of the waves, and you can adjust basically any characteristics. And just a last tip for you before I end the video, is that if you change the frame rate to 12, you will make the animation look much more realistic, because the lower frame rate will make this just on point. So I hope you liked this video. As I said in the beginning, this shader is available inside my procedural material pack for Blender, and it's one of the 125 materials that are currently available in this add-on. So if you are interested, you can get it on my Gumroad. There is also a 50% discount with the code Graffinity. However, this discount code is available only for the first 50 orders. So do not hesitate, it's the first link in the description. Because if you get the pack now, you will also get all the materials that will be coming in the future for free. So do not sleep on this, it is the first link in the description. Check out this video if you want to learn more about Blender. And I'm gonna see you in the next video. See you there.